our mornings can initially feel like an uphill battle. Yet there's something incredibly freeing in acknowledging this fact. It's not a flaw, it's just part of the human experience. Now, let's channel some Stoicism into this concept. Stoicism teaches us the importance of self-compassion and understanding alongside its calls for discipline and resilience. Marcus Aurelius, in his personal writings, often reminded himself to be patient and forgiving with his own shortcomings. He knew that berating oneself for every slip-up was not the path to growth. Instead, he advocated for recognizing our errors, learning from them, and then letting them go. This approach is crucial when we're trying to cultivate new morning routines or any habit for that matter. Those first few days or even weeks can be tough. Your alarm goes off and every fiber of your being wants to stay cocooned in the warmth of your bed. And let's be honest, there will be days when you'll give in to that desire. That's okay. The key is what you do next. Do you beat yourself up, spiraling into a cycle of guilt and self-criticism? Or do you take a breath, forgive yourself, and see the next morning as a fresh opportunity to try again? Forgiveness and patience with ourselves are not signs of weakness. They're indicators of strength and wisdom. They mean we're in it for the long haul, ready to navigate the ups and downs with grace. This stoic practice of self-compassion is about understanding our nature, working with it, and gently nudging ourselves towards the habits and life we aspire to. Moreover, taking it easy isn't about making excuses or allowing ourselves to perpetually fall short of our goals. It's about recognizing that growth is a process filled with learning curves and setbacks. It's about understanding that each new day brings with it a new set of challenges and opportunities. And it's in this daily renewal that we find our strength and resilience. So, as you work on embracing those early mornings or any new habit, remember to take it easy on yourself. Celebrate the small victories, learn from the setbacks, and approach each day with a heart ready to try again. This isn't just about becoming a morning person, it's about cultivating a mindset that's prepared to face life's challenges with a blend of determination and kindness. Number six, practice discipline in little things. Consider the simple act of placing your alarm clock across the room. It's not just about making it physically harder to snooze, it's a statement. It's a commitment to start the day on your terms, to rise despite the comfort of the bed's embrace. It's a small act of defiance against the inertia of sleep and comfort, a step towards embracing the day with intention. Similarly, making your bed each morning might feel like a trivial task, especially when you're the only one who'll see it. Yet it's so much more than smoothing sheets and fluffing pillows. It's an exercise in care, in telling yourself that your environment and how you engage with it matters. It's about creating a space that reflects the order and respect you're cultivating within yourself. These small victories, as Marcus Aurelius would likely argue, are the building blocks of a disciplined life. They're the everyday choices that, while easy to overlook, cumulatively mold our character. 
Each time you choose to do these little things, you're casting a vote for the type of person you want to be. You're choosing to be someone who values discipline, order and respect for oneself and one's environment. But why focus on these small acts? Because they're within everyone's reach. Not all of us can control the major events in our lives, the upheavals, the unexpected turns. But we can control how we respond to the start of each day, how we treat our immediate surroundings, and how we prime ourselves for whatever lies ahead. This is Stoicism in action, focusing on what's in our power to control and letting go of what isn't. Moreover, these practices aren't just about